Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to calculate the area of a parallelogram. Now we already know how to calculate the area of a square and the area of a rectangle. The area of square is side multiplied by side that is side square square units. For example, the side of a square field is 7 meters then its area would be 7 multiplied by 7 that is 7 squared or 49 square meters and the area of rectangle is length multiplied by the breadth of the rectangle for example if the length is 10 meter and the breadth is 5 meters then the area would be 10 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 50 square meters now we have learnt about one more quadrilateral type which is a parallelogram. In a parallelogram the opposite sides are parallel and equal. Here in the parallelogram ABCD the opposite sides are parallel which means AB and DC are parallel. Also AD and BC are parallel. Also, the opposite sides are equal to and hence AB is equal to DC and AD is equal to BC. Now, how to find the area of a parallelogram? Let's take a parallelogram ABCD. Here, the height of the parallelogram ABCD is H and the base is B. Now, let us cut the right angle triangle ABE at the side of the parallelogram. So here we have cut out a right angle triangle which is triangle ABE from the parallelogram. Now we add the triangle ABE which we cut out on the opposite side of the parallelogram such that the hypotenuse AB of the triangle is placed upon the side DC of the parallelogram. Look, the closed figure AEFD looks like a rectangle with F as one of its corner. This means area of parallelogram ABCD is equal to the area of this rectangle AEFD. Now, we know the area of rectangle AEFD is equal to length multiplied by the breadth that is EF multiplied by AE. And what is the side EF equal to? Let us see here EF is equal to EC plus CF but BE is equal to CF. So we can say the length of EF is equal to EC plus BE. What does it mean? This means EF is actually equal to BC. And as we know, A is actually the height of ABCD and it is equal to H. So, AE is equal to H. So, we readjusted ABCD to make AEFT and thus the area of ABCD is also EF multiplied by AE. Now, we saw EF was equal to the base of the parallelogram which is BC and AE is equal to height of the parallelogram which is H. So, the area of parallelogram is equal to base multiplied by height. Now, we know that both the square and the rectangle are parallelogram. As both the square and the rectangle have their pair of opposite sides parallel and equal to, then why are there different formulas for the area? Area of square is side multiplied by side and all the sides are same. So, we can take base as one side and one side as the perpendicular to the base. So, 
this side is actually the height of the square. Thus, area of square is also base multiplied by height. And the area of triangle is length multiplied by breadth. Length is actually the base of the rectangle. And the breadth is actually the height of the rectangle. So, we can say the area of rectangle is also base multiplied by height. So, remember children, the area of parallelogram is base multiplied by height. We can take any side of the parallelogram as the base provided that the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex to that side is considered as the height for the purpose of calculating the area using the formula base multiplied by height. So that was all about the area of a parallelogram base multiplied by height. Bye bye children.